Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Luke McQueen. Uh, just doing another video. Uh, it's not really a review, but it's just kind of a update. Another update. It's been over maybe a little over a week, and last time I reviewed the Kanga Pro Tank 2, and um, gave it a good review. So this is the new new update, the Kanga Pro Tank 2. After vaping it for about a, a little, probably a week, week and a half, I gotta say, still vaping the same way as I got it. Um, been vaping at, at first on that 2.2 ohm coil, but on now I'm, I had some 1.8 ohm coils and I'm just using those so far. Um, been vaping on a Pro Vary, uh, mostly all VG liquid. And um still use the same drip tip, 510 drip tip that it came with. And let me do a demo for you guys with the right here, put it back on the Pro Vary. Right now, let's see what, what the ohms they're giving me right here. Out of my other right there. See 1.8 right there. So 2.0. So right now. We're going to vape this on 3.5 volts. It's 1.8, 2.0 coil. So, let's see what's up. Still giving me good vapor. And issues. Let's see what the issues. Um, I don't know if it's me, but if I vape it on a, let's just say, if I use a anything higher than a 1.8 it's probably the way the the coil head is manufactured it gives me such a tight pull when I try to hit it and I'm not I'm not really a big fan of that it's being it was being irritating and when I went to the 1.8 it gives me a nice clear hit it gives me enough air also um, I haven't got any flooding on uh, no gurgling uh, you know, I use a thicker e-liquid, so I don't think right here. Usually, when you use a thinner one, that center center pin right there, it tends to e-liquid tends to go through. Let me show you right here. If you look at it inside, that's where this piece right here goes in here inside the middle, and right here, if you see in here. Well, there's a seems like a little passageway that goes through right there, and when you put it in, it seems like the thinner e-liquid just kind of seeps through. No matter, and with the, I usually take off the the extra wicks, so my e-liquid could cook a little bit better. Other than that, uh, I stay with the VG, and that's, that's what I'm used to. Uh, propylene glycol I'm not really a fan of I like VG because it gives me a thicker thicker vapor so there you guys go that's a new update um, I'm gonna try to review more products other than that this is the the update on the Kanga Pro Tank 2 and you guys could change the, the drip tip I kind of th I think that it's a plastic it's a hard plastic is what it feels like but it's kind of like a kind of like a satiny coating to it I mean just try it out they got them on sale now a lot of, I had to pre-order this one and I got it from the Kanger SCKanger.com it's where the main place where they make the Kanger, te uh, the Kanger tech so you guys take a look at it zkanger.com and I'm gonna try to do more reviews maybe on like uh, maybe uh, iClear 30 the uh, some of the Genesis style atomizers and so forth you know so this is Luke McQueen you guys have a good one and vape on